welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. I've been trying for six weeks. And this weekend, I finally did it. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the eBay shop. I am Chris, the old school picker. This channel is all about my adventures, my reselling adventures. I go around to state sales, yard sales, garage sales, flea markets, wherever I can find stuff to buy for cheap, put it in the shop and list it on eBay and hopefully sell it for a profit. That's what this channel is all about. If you like that type of content, I sure would appreciate it if you subscribed 100% free. Thank you guys so much too. My channel is still just growing it's amazing you guys are changing my life honestly i am on pace to once again for like the third or fourth month in a row to make more on youtube than i ever have so i appreciate it guys so much so much but a lot going on uh speaking of youtube i did finally get caught up on some videos so i'm back ahead of you guys a little bit so a little bit of breathing room there that's that always uh, gives me a sigh of relief, uh, but I can't, I can't take the foot off the gas quite yet because, man, not this week, but the next week is when I really start going out for the Highway 127 sale because around here the sales always start the week before, so usually about 10 straight days I yard sale <laughs> pretty much all day for 10 straight days it's it's crazy uh it's tiresome by the time it's over i am wore out but it's kind of my super bowl <laughs> it really is it's my reselling super bowl and it's coming up so i have to stay ahead of my video on my videos and also get ahead on this ebay listing and that's what this video is about i do have some really good sales going out so stay tuned for that but i'm trying to get far enough ahead on my videos to where you guys don't even notice that i'm not making videos there may be some weeks where there may be one or two weeks there where i don't get three what so videos out for that week but I'm going to try to still put out three videos a week all the way through. I don't know. We'll see. But some of them may be Highway 127 footage, which you guys probably will enjoy a change of pace. But anyways, yes, and I'm kind of walking in circles this morning, but uh, I slept so good last night. I feel rejuvenated this morning, honestly. Um, that's a good feeling because I've I've been a little wore out the last few weeks, to be honest with you. But I slept good last night. Pretty good weekend of sales, so I'm happy about that. YouTube channel is growing great. So everything's clicking in all the right directions this morning. And that, that feels good, I'm not going to lie. Um, but we're going to go ahead and pull a couple of orders, and then we'll talk about the topic. All right, as I said, 16 orders going out today for a grand total of 676.06. So I missed my goal this weekend. I like to sell $750 through the weekend. I missed it by 75 bucks. I missed it last weekend by about like 200. But it's been funny. Um, eBay, usually weekends are my best sales. But the last two, three weeks, I've been having better sales days through the week, Monday through Thursday. Uh, and then the weekend's been solid, but it's not been the best part of my week. So but 676, I'm okay with that. Honestly, that's I'm happy with that. 16 items, I'm happy with that. But out of those 16, several of them are pretty good. I think that's like a $40 average, I think. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's like a $40 average. So I'm happy with that. All right, the first uh, order going out. I think we have a couple of die casts going out today. I know we do. Maybe more than that. Maybe like three. I know we've got two. But uh, the first one, I'm going to have to dig for it. Nope, I see it back there, actually. Uh, usually, you know, I have this a little more organized, but man, I've, I've got so many of these die casts that I've just kind of been stacking them up. But they've been selling so good 
that I don't mind it because I'll get a stack built up here and then I'll sell two or three like I did this weekend and all of a sudden that stack starts going down pretty quick the first one is this purple truck and I mean that's purple it's a 1956 Ford Street Rod by American Muscle Ertl Collectibles. These Ertl, as far as the looks of them, this Ertl is probably my favorite. They make some really, really good looking diecast. And I absolutely love that. Don't know that I would have had it in purple if that was a real truck. But 1956 Ford Street Rod truck, I mean, just awesome, awesome, awesome. F-Series, 50 years, built Ford Tough. I took a best offer on this one. I think I had it listed for $35. I sold it for $31.99 plus shipping. It's good though. I mean, the box on it's clean. I mean, it's got a little bit of wear, but not much. Good, good deal to start it out with. All right. Just bought this and listed it just the other day. Oh, I don't know which one it is. About uh, two, I don't buy board games a lot. I do have some that I need to list that I've just had forever. Need to go through them and do some inventory on them. But anytime I see Pokemon games, I pick them up. There are any kind of special games like, like this is sorry, but if it's got like a brand like Pokemon or something like that, I'll usually buy them. Well, I bought a, bought a Pokemon sorry in a Pokemon Monopoly just the other day at an estate sale. I honestly did not have any idea the value on them, but they were two dollars each and I knew I knew here's what I do. I open the box and if it's got the game tokens in them, I'll buy it if it's cheap. Because I know like this in this case if it was missing a bunch of pieces and I had to part it out, I only paid two dollars for it. I knew I could get more than two dollars for this. These, the game tokens in these type games are always the most important part. So when I seen they were in it, I was like two bucks. If it's not complete, if it's missing a ton of pieces, long as it's got those game tokens in them, I know I'm good because I'll just sell them separate. Well, honest, actually, this game ended up being complete, which was a little bit of a surprise. Now, the box is not in the greatest condition, but like I said, I paid $2 for it. This one is not worth a ton, but I ended up taking a best offer on it for $21.99 plus shipping. Two bucks in, 22 out, not bad. It'll be easy to ship. You can put two of those long, sharp boxes together and ship it out those 1095s I think and ship it out no problem 22 bucks good deal if it would have been in a little better condition I would not have sold it as cheap I probably could have got 25 27 dollars out of it but still good deal all right M2 I have a GI Joe figure going out and I believe it's that guy right there he is Cobra Commander right yeah Cobra Commander 1993 a real American hero, G.I. Joe figure. He came in the action figure lot. He's, most of the G.I. Joe figures were in pretty rough condition. He was, however, in really good condition. He didn't have any of his weapons or any of his accessories, just the figure only. But he still sold just by himself $14.99 plus shipping. All right, you guys probably have already guessed what I finally got accomplished this weekend. Oh, yeah, I listed like a crazy man, 25, 5 Wednesday, 20 Thursday, 15 Friday, 15 Saturday, 80 items for $1,780. I hate to say the word crazy man, but 80 is a pretty solid number for me. But I finally, at the time of filming this, I finally, finally, finally got over a thousand listings. I have been trying pretty hard for six weeks and my sell-through rate has been so good, which is a good problem, uh, that it's been hard to gain any ground. Well, I finally, I really, last week I listed a ton of those Christmas ornaments. And I knew that they wouldn't just start selling crazy. I mean, it's July right now. Uh, did sell two this weekend. We got to pull those. 
but I knew that would help put me over a thousand listings because I knew as I was listing them, they was not just going to start selling immediately. I did sell two, but still, but I actually got my listings up to a thousand and eight, I believe it was. So that's good. Uh, but I'm already back down. I think at right this second, I think I'm at a thousand and three. I probably won't list today. I usually do not list on Mondays. I usually just ship on Mondays and run errands and uh, edit video. I'll probably go ahead and edit this video right now uh, that I'm filming right now today. Stay ahead on my YouTube videos. But yes, I finally got up over a thousand listings. That's been a goal of mine really since we moved here, which it, we just celebrated our one year anniversary of living here, by the way. And also, especially since the shed was complete, which is about four months old, I think, at this point. So, it's been a struggle. I'm finally glad to have reached it. Now, I guess my goal, I know what my goal is for the next two or three weeks. Because it's the 127 sale coming up. I won't be listing much at all, if anything, for probably two weeks. So, you know, I want to hover around that thousand mark if I can. I'm going to list pretty hard this week and then this week will, and probably the first of next week. And then, like I said, I'll probably shut it down for 10 to 14 days as far as listings. And if I can just stay anywhere in that vicinity of a thousand listings, I'll be happy. I'm going to try to, you know, get up, try to get like 50, 60, 70 things listed this week. So that should put me ahead to carry me through the 127 sale. After the 127 sale, hopefully, I'll have some great inventory again. I'm hoping to buy a lot this year. Uh, a lot. I have bought tons and tons during the 127 sale for years and years and years. I plan on this being my biggest buying year ever. Now, I mean, of course, you've got to find the stuff. I'll find the stuff. The stuff's out there. Anything you can think of or want is at the 127 yard sale. However, it's got to be for the right price, right? So hopefully I'll find some great deals and I want to push my listings up around 1200 in the future. Fourth quarter's coming up too, by the way. So that's usually how I do it. I buy a lot of stuff during the 127 sale. I take all that inventory and really make a strong, strong, strong push for the fourth quarter. Carry me through the fourth quarter at the end of the year. And then we start over next year and do it all over, right? So that's the plan. But I finally got up over a thousand listings. Let me know in the comments how many listings you have. But right now we got to pull some more orders. All right. Next one going out is another diecast. And I was excited about this diecast for a few reasons. But number one reason is, well, it's a good one. But the number two reason is it's the biggest one I've got. So therefore it takes up the most room. So always, always, always glad to get rid of big items. Yeah, man, this thing is so, so cool. I love it. It's obviously it came in the die cast deal. But how many die cast limousines have you ever seen in your life? Well, this is probably the first one I've ever seen. Although I do have another one somewhere. But it's nowhere near as big as this one. This is the 118th scale. I think the other one's like a 24 scale. This thing is awesome. The new Millennium Edition 2000 Limousine Premium Diecast Metal Collectible. Look how awesome that thing is. I think it's so cool. It's even got a sunroof. And it's made by a company and... I was unfamiliar with that company until I bought this deal, Sunstar. But I have learned since buying this deal, they make some really, really good die casts. Man, this is nice. I'm telling you, it's heavy too. It weighs four pounds, two ounces just by itself before I even box it up. So, yeah, it's going to be a five pound shipper, I'm sure. So, anyways, limousine, really cool. I did send a best offer out on this one. No, I didn't either. I did send a best offer out on it, but somebody came in behind that best offer and paid full price of $64.99 plus shipping. It is a Lincoln limousine, by the way. $65 plus shipping. Awesome deal. 
All right, it's time to go fishing for profit. I made a, a video where I sold one of these fishing reels and I titled it Fishing for Profit. And apparently YouTube thought I was, and I knew they would, honestly, I did. I think they thought I was making a fishing video on the reselling channel. And that video done horrible. Horrible. One of the worst performing videos I've had in months. But I kind of thought it would, but I, I'm one of those. I kind of want to make what I want to make. I want to do on YouTube kind of what I want to do. Whether it does good or not, I have to, have to be happy with what I do, right? So that's what I did, and I paid the consequences for it. But anyways, got another fishing reel going out, and I won't title this video Fishing for Profit. <laughs> but anyways, this is another good one. Uh, Shimano Sapphiros. 5000 fa and this is kind of like a salt water reel it's not in the greatest condition but it's not bad either a little oil on it would go a long way so i probably should have oiled these things up and done a little bit more work to it but i didn't i paid seven bucks for this at a thrift store and i bought seven of them for seven bucks and two of them for five bucks this was one of the seven dollar ones and it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Good, good deal. Good little reel. You could use it for bass fishing. I mean, there's no reason you couldn't. But I think it's a saltwater reel. Still good deal. All right, next item we're going, going out is an action figure. Another action figure. I already sold one action figure. And this guy right here. <laughs> Man, I love him. I've sold him several times. I, for whatever reason, I find him quite often. But he has the best name of any action figure there is, in my opinion. Where's he at? Right there he is. <laughs> there he is. As I was saying, he has the best name. He he's a teenage. He comes from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line, and if you know that line, the line of toys really well you probably know who i'm talking about but his name is usagi yojimbo and he is a bunny rabbit from the teenage mutant ninja turtle figure he does have his portrait card which has helped me sell these guys this guy's a pretty good figure too i think he was complete yes he is complete and he has quite a few weapons his throwing stars are not even broke off of the weapon thing there so that's pretty cool so and if you ever sell this figure he's got all these knee pads shoulder pads he's got three weapons and then the throwing stars and then some people consider having this as being complete some people consider not having this as being complete but if you have it it definitely helps but this guy just like the gi joe figure came from the action figure haul and he sold for 34.99 plus shipping he is a good one but i've sold this figure so many times usagi yojimbo i just love saying, saying that name i didn't watch this cartoon i was uh older by the time this cartoon came out and i'd already quit pl uh, playing with toys and uh watching cartoons so i don't know if this guy was a good guy or a bad guy not real sure not sure if he was a turtle friend or a turtle enemy but i have sold him so many times i'm pretty familiar with him at this point but but i don't know if he's good or bad so somebody let me know yo you soggy yo jimbo i love saying that all right next time i'm going out we gotta go upstairs <laughs> up to m3 this little guy right here i sold a plush this weekend i think this is the right one i don't think i have any more mario figures down through there that look like him he is uh super mario from mario brothers of course and he is he is the fire mario because he's got the red suit right so just a cheap little figure or a plush uh he's not in the greatest condition honestly I think I picked him up for a quarter and I wrote, hey, he is what he is. He comes in the condition as pictured. A few stains, not bad, but just a couple of lot stains. I ended up taking a 5% off offer on him for $4.74 plus shipping. But anytime I see Mario and it's quarter 50 cents, 
I'm picking it up. It's a good deal. 474 plus shipping. Ooh, I have a, another exciting sale coming up. Well, it's exciting to me anyway, so you might want to stay and watch for that. But first, we've got a Christmas ornament coming up, going out. So, I'm always excited about selling Christmas ornaments in July. This one is a 2007 Holiday Barbie. Uh, I think it's number eight. Number eight in the series. So, it'll take me a while to find it. Because, man, this is not even the only box of figure or Christmas ornaments I've got. I've got a bunch of them. A bunch of them listed. Nope, not that one. That was actually a pretty good one. That Beerstein one. If you see Beerstein Hallmark ornaments, they're pretty good. But that ain't the one going out. I believe it's this one. As I said, Hallmark Keepsake Ornament Celebration Barbie Ornament from 2007, number eight in the series. Uh, for some reason, this ornament sold better than a lot of the other Barbies. Don't sell for a ton of money, but it had a better sell rate. I don't know if this one was a little more rare or what, but anyways, it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I've got some of the ornaments I've got around like probably 75 cents in. Some of them I have around most of them I have around a quarter or 50 cents in, so I'm not real sure where this one come from, but I don't have more than a dollar in any of them. $9.99 plus shipping. I don't really think I have more than 75 cents in any of them, so, and when you buy them by the bulk like this, you know, you'll do okay with them. So far, I'm liking them. All right, the next order I have going out, and this is one I was just talking about being excited about. I just picked this guy up for a dollar just this weekend. Brought it home, listed it, and sold it this weekend. So, good, good deal. It's not an old hat, I don't think, but it is made by Louisville Manufacturing Company, made in the USA. So, I guess it does have some age, and that Louisville ma Manufacturing Company... I've done pretty well with that company of hats before, but it's not the mesh trucker style hat. It's just a camo hat. But look at that logo, Mack Trucks. Man, that logo's, it's, that's smoking, man. I love this guy. If this hat had not, because I'm not really a camouflage type person, if it hadn't been camouflaged, I would have considered keeping it because that emblem, man, that logo and that patch, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. Paid a dollar for it. Could not find one exactly like it on eBay. I looked at Therapy, couldn't find one exactly like it. So I was like, you know what? I looked at some that were similar, seen what they were selling for. And I priced mine a little bit higher. And I sold it for full price. And it sold quick. $49.99 plus shipping. That's pretty good for an old hat. But it, this hat, it was wore a little bit, I think but very, very little. It's in great condition. 50 bucks plus shipping. I didn't go out a whole lot this weekend. I really didn't. I went to one or two estate sales and went to five or six yard sales. I just, I didn't go a whole lot this weekend. That was probably my best find. All right, this is gonna be a long video. I apologize in advance. We gotta pick it up a step. I do have a couple more good ones going out today, though. It, I mean, it, it was a good weekend. I'm not complaining. All right, so we have another Christmas ornament going out. I had never bought these before in my life. Didn't even know they existed when I found them. But it's these Briar Christmas ornaments, like the Briar Company that makes the little plastic horses that can be huge, huge money. Some of them not so much, but some of them are crazy money. Well, apparently they make Christmas ornaments, too. And this is Nutcracker Prince Holiday Horse Stirrup Ornament, 2009. It's number 11 in the series. And I picked all these up for like, I think for the box, I paid like 30 bucks for them. But it probably had 50 ornaments in it. This is the first one I've sold. It's July. But I sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. It's going to be a great, great deal. All right, next order going out. I went ahead and pulled it. 
we've got another fishing grill going out. A13-1. And this, I, I bought two of these just alike, and I already sold the other one. Well, I also have this one too. And it's this little Browning Ultralight Reel model BSL750B Browning. Very nice little reel. I almost kept one of these because that's the kind of fishing I do. I do a lot of crappie fishing, a lot of small game fishing. I put it that way. And a very nice reel. This one I paid five bucks for and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So I paid five dollars each for the brown reels, ten bucks in them, fifty dollars out. Not bad. All right, I was pretty excited about this one going out. It's a pretty good one. It's an A7. It is an action figure. I've still got quite a bit of that action figure stuff to list. Um, I took a little time off of it, but but uh, I need to list a few more of them this weekend. Or this week, I'm sorry. But anyways, the next one going out is from that deal. Man, so much money off that deal. But anyways, he is a Transformers. Original Transformer G1 double cross figure only. And I know very, very little about Transformers. I hated them as a kid because they took too much time and effort to transform. So I didn't fool with them a whole lot. But he is like a, it's kind of like a dragon winged dragon but of course he transforms into a robot he's a good one he sold for 29.99 plus shipping i think i took a best offer on him i think i had him had him listed for 35 ended up selling him for 30 plus shipping good deal it's kathy time didn't want to leave kathy out on this episode so we got one going out i'm happy about it tags in bloom that's it right there photopolymer stamp set from stamping up if you're new to the channel kathy a viewer sent me all this stamping up stuff and it's been good and i've sold a ton of it so thank you kathy i appreciate it every video i get a comment about i need a kathy in my life so thank you kathy you are appreciated not only by me but everybody else so this one uh stamp set 19 stamps in this one i don't ever talk about that but these things have tons of stamps in them this one sold for 19.99 plus shipping so thank you again kathy all right next items i have going out some one order whoever the buyer was bought both of them i actually have two more of these in the garage i only listed two at a time so i may try to list the other two this week i need to for sure they're pretty good these came from the same place i bought the action figures from before if you go back and watch that video if before i spotted the action figures they had because the action figures wasn't for sale uh, they had them in the back of the garage behind stuff they wasn't for sale but they did have these on the table for sale and i didn't know anything about them but I went ahead and bought them and i'm glad i did it's these fisher price precious places they're little doll houses and this one is best friend's pet shop and this one is baby nursery's cottage like i said i ended up buying four of them i got two more in the garage they wanted five dollars a piece i said what would you do if i bought all four of them he said how about 15 bucks buy three get one free i think is what he said so i was like that's a great deal. I mean, I didn't know anything about them, but I knew they was old. I mean, if you can't tell that's an old toy just by looking at the box, then uh, you don't know much about toys, right? It, I think they're from like 1990. Maybe a little older. I don't know. I don't see a year on them. The, pet, the lady bought both of them. The pet shop sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And the baby's nursery cottage sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So $55 bucks for two of them. I still have two left. It's going to be a good deal. All right. This video is going to be extremely long. But um, it's all right. Next one going out is an I-8. I-8. Some more VHS. And... Uh, what i paid for them pretty good i do have another uh 
Nintendo GameCube going game going out next. We'll pull it and talk about it in a second. Been getting some hate about those selling those things. Wow. Anyways, that's not what's going out here. It is Godzilla movies, Terra of Mecha Godzilla and Godzilla versus Billante, I guess is how you say it. I don't know. Anytime I see VHS Godzilla movies, if they're cheap, I'll pick them up and uh, lot them up. I think I've I think I've got some more of these in the garage that I need to lot up. I think I've got like three or four more. But these came from all those VHS I just recently bought. I mean, I might have a quarter in them somewhere in that range, maybe. And these sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So, you know, at the most, I would have had a dollar in these, 50 cents a piece. $14.99 plus shipping. All right. Last order going out is, like I said, a GameCube game. Man, I've been getting some hate about selling these GameCube games. Wow. Nintendo GameCube. This was one of the cheaper ones. Need for Speed Carbon. I've had a lot of collectors watch those videos because, you know, anytime you put GameCube or Nintendo or something like that in the title of your videos, you're going to get a different audience, not just the reselling audience, but also the people that collect those type games. Well, I did, which is good, but I also got a lot of hate for selling them for so high. I'm like, well, quit paying so much and they won't be worth so much. But I told one guy, I was like, he was fussing about not only me, but also the comments about how greedy grease sellers was. And I was like, well, dude, it's a reselling channel. If you want to go see a collector's channel, you know, go to a collector's channel. This is a reselling channel. But anyways, Need for Speed Carbon, Nintendo GameCube, Game Case and Manual. I paid a dollar a piece for these, if you remember right. I don't have many left. I think two or three back there left. And this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Good deal. All right, that is my orders going out. Uh, 16 orders, I believe it was. I guess 17 items because this was two items. 17 items for $675, somewhere in that range. So good deal. Quite a bit of shipping to do, honestly. I'll have to find a box big enough for these guys and the limousine for, for sure. So two reels going out. Happy about that. A couple of action figures, video games. Thanks again, Kathy. Love this hat sale. Honestly, that's probably my favorite sale of the weekend. Just because it's so cool. I love old hats. I love them. Oh, I actually had another. So three action figures going out. So good deal. Video game. Couple of ornaments. Great. VHS. That's great. Love selling these old toys like this. Diecast. Really, really good mixture of all the stuff I've been buying. All the big purchases I've been making here lately. That's, that's a smorgasbord of the buys I have been making right there. But it's getting warm in the shed, so I'm going to go back here and cut the air conditioner on, cut me some music on, get to shipping. If you would like to support the channel, the links are down below, including the sticker link. Thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed and watched my videos. I appreciate it. I also, not only did I go over a thousand listings this week, I also went over 3,500 subscribers, so I appreciate that so much. That means so much to me you guys are changing my lives thank you guys for watching i appreciate it old school picker out